What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earth Master here on this Monday, July 25th, 2022 date, about 1.20 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Latest quake shows a 2.3 earthquake way up here in Alaska. Noticing a little bit of swarming kicking up up there uh, and some uh, moderate earthquake activity as well. Looks like a 4.5 kicking up overnight. Uh, here is the latest map here from the USGS uh, showing that earthquake activity up here in Alaska. Looks like a little bit of movement outside of Denali. USG or the uh, EMSC model showing a 4.5 up here within this region, but uh, I'm not seeing it from the USGS here. Sometimes it takes them a little while to issue the earthquake activity into the catalog. Some movement uh, here into the, uh, looks like around the Cook Inlet area. Well, actually well south of there into the Strait. Got a 2.3 kicking up here in the area of that uh, region noticing a little bit of activity ramping up here along the western pacific uh, of course all this comes days after the uh, little volcanic eruption here in the uh, japan area down here looking at uh, earthquake activity wise a couple earthquakes around the kuro kamchaka trench one of these earthquakes somewhat deep uh, notice there let's see this is why i like to point out here notice uh, the deeper activity first and then of course subsequent just a couple hours later some subsequent shallower earthquake activity uh, that kind of makes sense right as you're as you're subducting here getting this plate subducted uh, it's obviously adding strain upstream and that's what we've seen there with those uh, pair of fours 4.6 uh, one deep one shallow uh, also we got one earthquake way down here uh, along the trench area north of the mariana islands 4.4 uh, some activity yesterday kicking up here this is an older earthquake, that 4.6. Seems to be 4.6 for the uh, magnitudes out here today. Just a whole bunch of them. Uh, it's a movement out here around the East China Sea once again. Getting in some uh, 5.1s. What's up with all these numbers and sequence here? A couple of those in the East China Sea. Uh, down south here along the Philippine Trench. Getting in on a 4.7. This one about 35 kilometers. And some scattered activity throughout the rest of the Indonesia area. Not a whole lot going on through Papua New Guinea or the Solomon Islands region. Most of the activity uh, overnight and this morning along the Kermadec Trench, Tonga Trench area, uh, where we're seeing uh, quite a few forests kick up there in some deeper regions. Big Island of Hawaii, a little activity out around the Loihi Sea Mount and also around Pahala. A little activity around Mauna Loa as well and Kilauea Volcano. No major movement or adjustment to take note of there far as the volcanoes go. South America region, Ecuador, and it looks like down here along the Chile area, 118 kilometer deep, 4.5 there into the Peru-Chile Trench. The Ecuador earthquake up here, about uh, 10 kilometers or so. Very shallow earthquake there in the mountains, a 5.7 earthquake. About the largest one we've seen here, uh, at least in the last 24 hours. Let's bring back uh, this map here. South Sandwich Islands is showing some activity. They did have some movement over the past couple days up here. I'm noticing a trend of some, some uh, heightened earthquake activity around this region. Most of it has been shallow. So got to watch this area pretty closely here uh, for some possible larger scale movement. Of course, last year they had that eight, uh, eight pointer down there and quite a few other larger quakes. But uh, sometimes, sometimes we can see uh, some larger movement even following um, a large quake as far as aftershock activity goes. One earthquake here in the southern Mid-Atlantic Ridge. That's a surprise. Haven't seen too much activity out here, but we are noticing an increase out throughout the Atlantic Ocean areas. Of course, up here around the Iceland area, they had some movement up here. Had a couple of fours kicking off here yesterday. Uh, 4.8, uh, I think there was another one in there as well. Also north of here around the Greenland Sea, Jan Mayen area, 4.5. Uh, let's see, around the Middle East, Mediterranean Sea uh, region, not a whole lot going on here. Some activity throughout the Iran area along the coast. This area has seen quite a bit of swarming north of Dubai. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Let's go ahead and cover the states here. Two point, or This is the all magnitudes, a little activity out here along the uh, South Carolina region. This earthquake from last night, it looks like, a 2.1. Little activity throughout Texas regions and Oklahoma. Most of the activity today confined to the west coast and inland areas around the uh, Great Basin 
Nevada area shown quite a bit of activity in the microquake department. Also through uh, the southern portion here of the Long or uh, of the Sierra Nevadas, Long Valley Supervolcano is showing a little bit of swarming today. We'll keep an eye on that. Sometimes these swarms come and go, but so far today, uh, seven earthquakes of all microquake activity. Nothing big going on down there. Currently around that supervolcano, Long Valley, in uh, Southern California. Activity along the San Jacinto Fault Zone there, mostly confined here to this midsection and a bunch of microquakes kicking up here in this area down south. Further south of Tijuana, getting a swarm of earthquakes in the uh, that little bay. It looks like a 4.3, the largest so far, uh, between 10 and 18 kilometers deep here along this region. Not a whole lot going on throughout the Gulf of California. Uh, up in Northern Cal, little movement uh, outside of Mount Lassen, north and south of there by about 5 or 10 miles. Nothing associated there, specifically at the volcano. Just a couple small microquakes around the region. Movement in the Pacific Northwest, about the same. Just some microquakes around Mount St. Helens and up around Seattle. One earthquake way up here in the Drummond, Montana region. 1.7 at 3.6 kilometers. What else we got here? Yellowstone National Park. I don't believe we have too much activity popping there today. Sometimes these swarms sneak up on us, but uh, like today, there's not a whole lot going on uh, at all. Today's timestamp there. Nothing. Nada. See what else we got. Uh, solar weather activity I know is kind of calming down, but I hope every day when I wake up or look at the computer here that we're going to see a new developing sunspot. Looks like there might be a couple here around the northeastern limb. Uh, I do like to utilize this image right here so I can spot um, some solar activity. It looks like maybe right around here. A couple other small sunspots developing. This one's got a nice little loop there, a little prominence on the sun. Uh, sometimes those things can blast off. Uh, I, I, that's got to be coming from 3062 right there. But uh, either way, some new developing sunspot here. S uh, sunspot activity. We'll see how it plays out green across the board for for right now uh, no major storms headed our way things are pretty calm there on the aurora forecast not a whole lot to uh, discuss there things pretty stable in the interplanetary magnetic field all looks good there density protons uh the speed and temp all lowered so uh entering into a time of just some quietness right now folks so we'll uh, definitely continue to watch that uh We'll be back a little bit later. Um, I'm going to do uh, some fire coverage a little bit later on as well. Talk about some fires in uh, Southern California out there around Yosemite. Uh, we'll cover that in a little bit more detail later on this evening. But uh, for now, have a good day, folks. A little midday, late afternoon update. Take care. We will chat you guys very soon. Have a good one. Peace out.